In 2016, the Anod Xor team took Defcon by storm with their vendor unofficial hardware badge. They're trying to outdo themselves this year, and we're nice enough to send Hackaday an early look. I just got the package in the mail, so let's crack it open and see what's inside. So the first thing you're going to notice is that they decided to go with uh, branded boxes this year. So they've got their uh, Twitter handle right there, and not XRDC25, and the bender on a bender. So we have an anti-static uh, bubble wrap bag here with adhesive on one side. And, ooh, battery's already in there. That's nice. Oh, beautiful. All right, I'm going to take the sticker off the screen. Looks like there's a wireless module here, Regato, it says on it. It's got 3x4 LED, and I would imagine those are RGB, but I guess we'll find out in a little bit. One out on the end of the uh, cigarette, Cigarello, whichever that is. One for each eye. It's got up, down, left, right. Looks like just a single button on this side. Looking over to the back, we have the connector for the screen, a uh, micro SD card. Very beautiful matte black solder mask on there with the white silk screen and we see the copper, or actually this is probably gold plate showing through on the traces. Very nice. All right, let's go ahead and fire this up. So on the back, there is this Excelsior switch, which we can turn on. I don't wanna miss anything, so I'm gonna get my finger on it and switch it on. Oh, color screen, very nice, all right. Avatar set to Kif. Oh, it looks like a boot up sequence. Ooh, oh, look at that. That is so fancy. A little matrixy type of stuff. Hello, Nixon. I didn't say my name is Nixon. That seems a little strange, but that's okay. I think one of the really interesting things is to grab the second badge that they sent me. And if I turn this one on while, this, while the first badge is on, going to go through its boot up sequence and very early on it's going to say hello Nixon. So this is actually the name of the first badge that I was showing you and uh, after I get through the system boot here it's going to tell me that I don't have the access code because there's an activation code uh, that you need to use to unlock the full features in here um, but you can get a hint at what's coming. So nearby it's going to tell me that uh, Nixon is nearby with negative 44 dB signal strength and uh, this is part of interactive botnet game that they have so going through the bluetooth mesh network they're going to be able to talk back and forth with the badges um, but also promised is a custom android app that the and xor team has written which is going to allow you to uh, terminal into the badge itself and run command line codes i tried a few different um like third-party apps to get that to work i couldn't get um, connected i could pair and not connect so i can't show you more of that right now uh, but maybe after the con, uh, we'll show you the carnage, and I'm certain that the Anod XOR team is going to share some of the shenanigans that go down. If you're going to wear this around your neck at a con all weekend, you want some bling to go along with it, and the Anod XOR team really delivered on that again this year. Here's the bender animations. You can scroll through several different things on the LCD screen, and the LEDs below, which aren't shown in frame here, are doing a lot of their own fun animations. I'm not going to go through everything here, but some of the highlights include my favorites. All hail Hypnotoad. And try to watch this one without hearing the music in your head. Now these animations are passive, but there are interactive elements as well. You can put your own scrolling text in. You can also add your own GIFs or images onto the SD card. And there's a game section. They wrote their own Flappy DEF CON. It's a take on Flappy Bird. Uh, but I think one of the really interesting moves here was instead of writing custom games for everything, they ported the Chip 8 interpreter onto this device. And so you could run Chip 8 ROMs on it. Here's a game of Breakout, which is a classic. And I think it's pretty neat that there are also demos on here. So this is just the logo for the team with the DC25 icon. 
I think a real measure for a badge like this is, are people actually going to use it? And there's so much packed into this badge, the answer is a resounding yes. Whether it's just looking through all of the stock animations and bling, which there are a ton of, making your own bling, writing something for the Chip 8 emulator, or unlocking those multiplayer functions. Now, I can't delve into those too much. Uh, like I mentioned before, there's an activation code that isn't going to be available until the con starts. But they're hinting a botnet of badges and some kind of interactive game and also god mode for the creators themselves and i think all of these things are going to be delightful to discover in the two to four days that people are wearing these around defcon thanks so much to the and not xor team for giving us a first look on it we'll see you at defcon